Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, feeling refreshed and better than ever. <laughs> oh, tight, 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 yeah! As I am coming at you two weeks on the keto diet and I feel fucking fantastic, which is why we are cranking out so much content over this week. This is the second video to, for today, and I'm going to be working on a third, which will probably be going out to you tomorrow by the time 4K 60fps finishes rendering on my Anthem benchmark review. So we're going to be kicking things off with a couple of news stories today. We first got a leak over on the user benchmark database for AMD Matisse, which basically confirms the leaks and rumors that were put forth by Adored TV back in December, which I backed him up on. And now we know for sure there will be more than eight cores on the upcoming AMD 3000 series of Ryzen parts. Will 12 cores be the limit? We don't know just yet. We've also got some info on Anthem and the demo, which is going to be going live today for Origin Access members. And lastly, I do want to go over a driver update from AMD, so we're going to get into all of that. But first, a quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the perfect place to host your domain, website, or online store. Now, as I said at the start, the first thing I want to go over is the AMD leak via the user benchmark database. As you can see, someone it looks like they basically plopped an engineering sample into a system, ran the user benchmark database, and that was really it. However, since this was logged over into the database, we can get quite a bit of information about the engineering sample on the upcoming AMD Ryzen lineup. And if you remember back at CES when Lisa Su showed off the part, we could see one single chiplet on that CPU, which many people were quick to say, hey, look, you can easily fit another chiplet on that die. And Lisa Su even backed that up after the keynote where she said there will very likely be more than eight cores, but we still don't know exactly what that number will be yet. And if we remember the original leak by Adored TV back in December, he said that there would be as high as 16 cores on the mainstream Ryzen parts. Well, right now, all we can see is that there is going to be a 12 core 24 threaded part over on the user benchmark database. Now, that doesn't mean there can't be a 16 core part later, because if you remember that original leak, he said there would be a Ryzen 9 lineup that would come out after the initial launch, which would have 16 cores, which would be easily doable since they're already going to be using two chiplets on the same package. So looking over on user benchmark, we can see not a very impressive score for the Ryzen engineering sample, and there are a variety of factors which are coming into play. But first, let's look at the specs of what we know. So we can see an AMD engineering sample, which is running 12 cores, 24 threads on a single CPU with a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz and a turbo of 3.6 gigahertz average, which has a benchmark score of outstanding as they call it. However, overall, the system is performing not very well. Now, I mentioned there were a variety of factors there. For starters, this Benchmark benchmarks is everything. It benchmarks your CPU, your RAM, your SSD, your graphics card. For the graphics card, they are running an AMD HD 7990, so a very poor GPU. And really, it, they're probably just running that so that they can basically get a display up and running so they can launch the benchmark. They're clearly not trying to break any records here. They're also only running a 500 gigabyte mechanical hard drive and a single DIMM of four gigabytes of DDR4 memory, which was only clocked at 2660 megahertz. So very slow system overall, which is why it's got such pretty sc poor scores across the top of the uh, user benchmark. For a quick basis of comparison, I ran a test on my system, which as you can see on here is running an i9-9900K at five gigahertz with an AVX offset of two. So it had a 4.85 gigahertz on average overclock throughout the benchmark run. I'm also running an RTX 2080 Ti. I've got an NVMe SSD as well as other SSDs and mechanical drives, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory running at 3200 megahertz. So a pretty much balls to the wall system which scores off the charts for their scoring system, basically calling my system a unidentified flying object at this point, which is the top of the charts. You cannot get really any faster. You can only go over 100% um, once you get to a certain point with this particular benchmark. And one final shout out to Squarespace who are fantastic if you want to set up your very own website or host an e-commerce page for an online shop. They've got tons of easy to use and fully customizable templates to choose from for beginners all the way up to advanced users. So head over to squarespace.com slash Joker Productions with the link down in the description below and you'll get 10% off of your first purchase with Squarespace. So we will have to wait and see once these are actually available and we can put it into a proper system, which is 
comparative to what I am running right here to get a, the full scope of what the Ryzen engineering sample, of what the Ryzen 3 series can do with 12 cores and 24 threads compared up to a 9900K. This is not meant to be a comprehensive comparison in any way whatsoever. It's just to let you know, based on what we have right now, based on what I'm at least using in my system, one particular case versus case. So yeah, once these are available and we could test, I'll test this comparably against, you know, another system of similar value with the same graphics card memory, so on and so forth. So let me know your thoughts though on this initial, you know, leak over on the user benchmark database down in the comments below. I'm at the very least just excited that we are going to see at the bare minimum a 20, a 12 credit, a, sorry, 12 core, 24 thread CPU from AMD and fingers crossed that we do get those Ryzen 9 parts as well with 16 cores, 32 threads, which I would instantly swap out for my 9900K for video editing as I've been gaming at 4K and clock speed is not going to be that imperative. I wouldn't need to really run at five gigahertz to play games at 4K over 60 frames per second. Now, I mentioned at the start Anthem, there is going to be a demo which is starting today for um, basically VIP members and Origin Premier members. So if you have Origin Access or Ar I believe it's Origin Access and Origin Premier, you'll be able to play an Anthem demo starting today and through the entire weekend. If you don't have Origin Premier, then you will be able to play it starting on February 1st and it's going to run until the 3rd, I believe. So that's going to be available later today. I will be benchmarking it in my test rig on a variety of graphics cards as long as I am able to without getting locked out by Origin. That's definitely a thing. So I may have to limit it to just three or four cards and yeah the game looks absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to at least get testing it out and see how it runs on a few different cards here if you're excited for anthem let me know down in the comments below the system requirements for this game are pretty intensive um, for the recommended specs which typically means 1080p and high settings for the cpu they're saying an i7 4790 or a ryzen 3 1300X, and then for the GPU, they're saying a GTX 1060 or an RTX 2060 on the NVIDIA side, or an AMD RX 480. So basically a mid-range system to get the game running at 1080p, high settings and 60 FPS, hopefully. Uh, obviously that's just, you know, for the mid-range, obviously for 4K, ultra-wide and everything, you're gonna need something a little bit more than that. And that is something that we will definitely test. I already did preload the demo, because you can actually preload the demo if you have Origin Access, which is, um, something I bought last year and has so far been fully worth, um, you know, its cost of admission. I pay $100 and I get access to all the EA games a week early, full access to the entire things. Um, not sponsored by Origin, it's just a service that I happen to really like and I fully support it. And I, say, I do recommend trying it out if you're going to play a few EA games throughout the year. And the download for Anthem was 44 gigabytes for anyone that might be curious. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that or not, because words. Uh, next up and last, but certainly not least, there is a new driver available from AMD. We are still waiting for an optimized driver for NVIDIA for some of the new titles that are releasing today. But at least we've got this driver from AMD, which is 19.1.2. It is a beta driver, but this is going to fix a lot, a number of issues and also provide the best experience for new titles that are available today, like Resident Evil 2, Tropico 6, and the Anthem Early Access, especially if you're going to be playing that Early Access version of Anthem or Resident Evil 2. I would certainly look to pick up this driver if you're running an AMD card. Hopefully, NVIDIA gets a driver out either today or tomorrow at the very latest, and, you know, we can use that for our testing on Anthem. The By the way, the Anthem demo is meant to go live at noon Eastern time here in the United States, which is 5 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. I know I forgot to mention that there, but a lot of people were asking when it's going to release. If you have Origin Access, it's going to be 5 p.m. GMT, so... Be on the lookout for that in just a few hours. By the time this video is going live on the channel, I will very likely be benchmarking the, the game. So yeah, that's going to be going. That'll be the next video you see up in your subscription feed either later today or very early tomorrow once, you know, high frame rates and resolutions are done processing on YouTube because it's still broken as shit. Even though I complained about it the other day, I tried uploading er today's earlier video, the Quake video. I uploaded that twice at 4K, one at 4K, one at 1440p, both 60 FPS, neither of which finished processing after 12 hours. So I ended up having to render out the video again in 1080p 60 FPS, which was done processing in like five fucking minutes. So yeah, I really hope YouTube gets their shit sorted out soon so we can get uploading videos in higher resolutions, which effectively is higher bit rates, which is definitely important on YouTube because if you upload it 1080p, you're getting a much lower max bitrate, whereas if you're uploading at 1440 or 4K, you can get like 50 Mbps, so it just gives a much better quality image at the end of the day, 
even if it was rendered out in, even if it was at 1080p footage and you rendered it out in 4K or 1440, you would get a better, higher bit rate. So that's one of the reasons I really hope that it does get sorted out. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, as always, about the Ryzen User Benchmark Leak, the Anthem demo, if it's a game that you are looking forward to as it is going to be something I'll be covering on the channel. There's so many games coming out in February. Around the 15th, we've got Anthem, Metro Exodus, and one other game, which I can't recall right now. But there's like three there's like three big games coming out on the 15th of February that I'm going to be covering. So it'll be important to know the feedback from you guys, which of those games you're most excited for. I'll take a look at what the other game is that's coming out, and I'll actually put a straw poll down below, um, either in a pinned comment or in the description. So if you guys want to vote on which games you're most excited to see when all three games come out on February 15th, so I know which one you guys want me to cover first. I will be covering the Anthem demo today once that goes live, so I'll be, I think the, the next logical one we do is Metro Exodus on the 15th, So, but I want to see your guys' feedback, obviously, on the straw poll. But if you enjoyed today's video or learned something new, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it down below. Subscribe if you're not already, and ring the notification bell if you have been here for a while. That way you never miss a moment of content as soon as it goes live here on the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow for the Anthem benchmarking video. Tara.